Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Number 12. Vacanti Mouse 1997 was a strange year for ears. Not only did heavyweight boxer Mike Tyson bite off the ear of one of his opponents during a match, but we also got this unbelievable photo of a mouse with an ear growing out of its back. This little fellow was named the Vacanti Mouse after the scientist that created it, Dr. Charles Vacanti. And before we dive in too deep, it's important we let you know that this is not a real human ear. It was actually cartilage from a cow that was put into the shape of an ear. Why, you may ask? Well, this scientist actually had pure intentions with this strange experiment. He was doing research to create a proper cartilage shape so we could replace a human ear one day by implanting this ear shape. He was able to use the mouse's blood vessels to nourish the cartilage cells until they grew correctly. This cow-mouse-human-ear hybrid never made it onto a human head, thankfully, because of the likelihood of rejection. As it turns out, the human body isn't exactly fond of getting cow parts attached to it. This experiment did help Dr. Vacanti in his pursuits and also provided us with this one-of-a-kind picture. We're going to consider that a success. Number 11. Liger Ligers are deliberately bred in captivity and are known to grow large very fast. They are, however, prone to a malady of diseases and complications, included of which is obesity. Ligers are considered as the biggest cats in the world, with the largest, Hercules, weighing in at over 410 kilograms, or 904 pounds. Number 10. Insulin-Producing Cow Argentine scientists have created four cloned and genetically modified calves, which can produce human insulin in their milk. Scientists believe that these cows can produce large amounts of insulin at a very low cost. To create these cows, scientists inserted the human insulin-producing gene into an embryo before implanting it in the surrogate cow. Number 9. Arana Halecho The Arana Halecho is also known as the spider fern. It is a combination of a plant and an animal. It is actually the cross between an Italian wolf spider and the paga fern. The reason that this crossbreed was created was to study the survival rate of spiders if they had built in camouflage. The study was conducted at the National Selection Department at Massey University in New Zealand. The results of this study have not yet been published. Number 8. Zombie Dogs In 1940, Soviet scientists released a video of several dog heads that they'd kept alive for several hours. The heads were able to wiggle their ears in response to auditory stimuli and could even lick their mouths. According to the scientists behind the so-called zombie dog experiment, the canines had been kept alive through an artificial blood circulation system. In 2005, American scientists from the University of Pittsburgh conducted a similar experiment. They flushed a number of dogs of all their blood before replacing it with oxygen and sugar-filled saline. The dogs went into cardiac arrest and were clinically declared dead. Few hours later, the dogs then received blood transfusions and an electric shock. Lo and behold, the dogs were resurrected. Many of them appeared a little disheveled, but pretty much as though nothing had happened to them. A report of this experiment, which was published in the Yearbook of Intensive Care and Emergency Medicine, argued that this breakthrough could potentially save lives. The technique could be used to treat people who are hemorrhaging blood too quickly for doctors to repair their injuries. With sufficient funding, it's thought that human trials of this procedure could occur within the next two years. Number 7. Fast-Growing Salmon Imagine this scenario. You're out on the boat with a fishing pole in the water. You feel a bite on the line and you reel it in with all your might, only to discover a salmon three times bigger than the average one. Would you think you were the luckiest fisherman alive or that there was foul play involved? Well, if you were in Waltham, Massachusetts, it was probably a designer fish. What do we mean by that? Well, there's a company called Aqua Bounty that developed a salmon breed they call Aqua Advantage, but this is obviously no ordinary salmon. It's designed to grow at twice the normal rate. They decided to start to breed this massive fish to improve inland fish farming. They also thought it would cut back on the need for ocean pins. These fish are also sterile, so that means that salmon this size aren't going to start popping up all over North America. Number 6. Umbuku Lizard 
This creature is the only one on the list that was not designed for a practical reason, but merely to prove that it could be done. Genetic engineers in Zimbabwe, formerly Rhodesia, managed to unlock a dormant flying strand in the DNA of the Umbuku lizard, a very small and rare lizard native to Africa. It is believed that the lizard is a descendant of the pterodactyl, which lost its ability to fly some millions of years ago. To date, only six of these flying umbuku have been produced, and they are kept separate from the natural umbuku due to the risk of crossbreeding. Number 5. Featherless Chicken This extreme bored fellow was created by scientists at the Rehovot Agronomy Institute in the early 2000s. Why would you want a featherless chicken, you ask? Well, the idea was to create a type of poultry that would have an even better chance at surviving in hotter countries. Not only would these chickens survive in warm conditions, but they would grow faster. This chicken was created by crossing breed with a naturally bare neck with a regular broiler chicken. And though it was an interesting idea, it was soon discovered to be useless. It might have made them cooler, but it also made them more prone to parasites, mosquitoes, and even sunburn. What's more, they couldn't flap their wings, which led to mating issues and less reproduction. The only positive thing about these chickens is that you won't be finding a feather in your meal anytime sooner. Number 4. Lemur Rat In China, the rich are running out of exotic pets to spend their money on. Therefore, the Chinese medical and scientific research companies are putting more money into cross-breeding animals. The most successful and financially rewarding breed so far is the lemur rat, which is a cross between a lemur and a cat. It retains the soft fur of the cat and the coloring, but has the striped tail and yellow eyes commonly found on a lemur. It is more ferocious than the average cat, but it is generally no more dangerous than a chihuahua dog. Number 3. Sterile Pink Bullworm Cotton crops in the United States are notorious for getting overrun with pests. There are constantly debates over pesticides, and for good reason. People should be concerned with what types of chemicals they're unknowingly putting in their body. But one of the non-poison methods to combat a pest, called the pink ball worm, is definitely an interesting one. Scientists were able to create a version of the worm that is sterile, which means it can't reproduce with other worms. They then release the new sterile worms into the crops. The reason behind this is that the sterile worms will compete against the wild bullworms to make cutting the numbers of the newly born down significantly. The modified worms are sterilized by radiation and marked with a fluorescent indicator so that they can be easily tracked. The scary part is that these scientists believe it's all right to sterilize living things that aren't cooperating. That sets up a troubling precedent for the future. What happens in the future when they decide another animal isn't lining up with their profits? Number 2. Doe Lion This is probably the most remarkable example of how far science is able to go with modern DNA and cross-fertilization techniques. The doe lion is a cross between a lion and a dog. In order to produce this incredibly rare animal, only three doe lions exist in laboratories, the photo above is Rex, the first ever produced. Individual strands of DNA from each creature must be combined and reinserted into a host egg. This is similar to the Liger, lion-tiger crossbreed, with the exception that the Liger is able to be produced without prior manipulation of the DNA of either breed of animal. Number 1. See-Through Frog Let's stay positive and learn about another animal created for the greater good. If you've ever taken a class in biology, there's one day that makes a lot of people go running for the bathroom, dissection day. For many school systems, the need to teach students about the organs of a frog is more important than keeping the frogs alive. And for many years, there wasn't much of an alternative, either dissect the frog or fail the assignment. Pretty rough. But luckily, there are some sympathetic scientists out there who've got the frogs back. They were able to experiment with breeding certain types of mostly translucent frogs so that the study of organs would be possible without dissection. This mainly came possible after the discovery of transparent glass frogs from the rainforests of Central and South America. That means soon, schools should have the option of observing the frog's organs, blood vessels, and eggs through the skin rather than cutting it open. The queasy children of the world owe a huge debt of thanks to these scientists. 
It's amazing that some strange animals exist solely to protect other members of their species. We never thought we'd call a frog a hero, but we stand corrected. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.